So today, we're going to replace the battery in a Super Nintendo game. Again, just like the regular Nintendo, you're going to need a small game bit. And to be honest, once you've replaced the battery in one of these games, you pretty much know how to do it in all of them. Basically the same procedure from different games, different systems. All right, take out those two screws, lift up the top, set that aside, and there it is. Easy peasy. All right. So we'll take note, the positive, which is the top of the battery with the writing on it, is going closest to the circuits, the rest of the circuits. So keep that in mind when we're working. Excuse me. So we'll clean off the iron. Just a touch of solder on there, help transfer heat to the circuit board. Get our solder sucker ready. And apply heat to the pin. Oops, my solder sucker's got solder in it. All right. So we'll apply heat to the pad and the pin at the same time. See things, things, when we see things melted, just gauge the sucker. Hmm. I don't think that did much of anything. So what we can do, we can actually add solder, add new solder to the pad. That'll usually kind of refresh the old solder. Make it a little easier to work with. A little better, I think. Do the same thing to the positive side here. Right. Pad and pin at the same time. The sucker gone. And it didn't fall out. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pliers. We're just going to hold on to the battery. We're not going to pry on it. We're not going to try to use the pliers to get the battery out. We're just going to gently pull on the solder. Come on. Now. There we go. See, it's a little easier. We're not prying. We're not forcing it. All right. The negative side is out. Let's grab the positive side. Again, gently. You're not forcing it. You're just pulling gently. Looks like the negative side grabbed on again. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, so what happened was it... There we go. <laughs> The solder on the other side uh, held it in place. So, set the old battery aside. Now we gotta get these holes cleaned out. So what we can do, we can, first of all, put a little bit of solder on our iron. Put the solder sucker on one side of the hole, heat up the other side of the hole, and that should clean out the hole, which it did. Cleaned it out pretty well. And we'll just do the same thing to the positive hole. We get our solder sucker cleaned out. Oh. Touch the solder on the iron. Oh no, just doesn't want to get clean. Oh. There we go. Hold the sucker on one side, heat up the other. And there we go. Cleaned it out nicely. Right. Clean up our work area a little here. Right. So we'll take our new 
CR2032. And remember, the one side with the writing is the positive side of the battery. So this is the positive tab. Remember, the positive went closest to the rest of the circuits. So we put it in there. Oops. Put the appropriate tabs in the holes. Come on now. Dang. Doesn't want to go. Why doesn't it want to go? Holes clear. There we go. A little better. Push it down as far as we can. And I don't think that's going to stay. So what I want to do, I want to take some, some artist tape here. A piece of artist tape. And just tape the, uh, the battery down where it belongs. Little, there we go. I like to use paper tape, you know, some kind of paper based tape, masking tape, artist tape, not scotch tape. Scotch tape might melt. Then you got a mess on your hands. All right. So the battery's being held in place. So now we bring in our, so our iron, a little bit of solder on it. Heat the pad and the tab at the same time and apply the new solder. Maybe hold it on there for a second. All right. I think that looks okay. Yeah, that looks all right. The same thing on the positive side. Tell you, man, these helping hands are invaluable. Because I don't have three hands. I don't know about you. All right, looks like that's filled well. Take the tape off. Take it out of the clamps and just have a look at things. Yeah, it's not a, it's not the most level, but it's um, it'll be fine. It'll work. All right, again, take our case. It's keyed, so they can board, board, the board can only go in one way. You can't put it in upside down or backwards. It won't fit. So, put the top back on. Where's our screws? Put the screws back on. Take our game bit. And tie it down. Don't, don't crank on it. Don't tie them down too tight. Just snug. Oh. All right, let's check it, make sure it works. Okay, so Mario A, player one game, and dun, 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 dun. yes, 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 welcome to Dinosaur Land. Don't care, you can pass this. How do I get past this? There we go. We're going to start, and we do that. Okay, we'll just... Okay, well, we started the game, so let's power it off. Power it on again. I think it's time to sync up. Come on. There we go. And look at that. It saved my game. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my battery replacement video for Super Nintendo games. I have several videos on replacing batteries and other minor video game repairs. Check them out in the playlist I've linked to here. And if you like video game reviews, I do those too.